All right, what's up, good people? So we've heard what AP has to say, the Associated Press has to say about Player of the Year, gave it to Stewie over Asia Wilson. Coach of the Year. This is an interesting race this year. The AP gave it to Stephanie White of the Connecticut Sun, but there are three other contenders, at least three other contenders, and I've heard others thrown in there that we should that we should talk about. So La- Latricia Trammell for Dallas, Dallas Wings, was a leading, was a real big contender midway through the season. Everybody was talking about LT and what she was doing with the Dallas team that many felt had under underachieved for the last few seasons. You got Latricia Trammell, you got Sandy Brundello, who left Phoenix, went to the New York Liberty, has done a phenomenal job there, cannot can definitely not ignore the fact that she's blended some great personalities, big personalities, lots of shooters, lots of scores, and has found a way to get them to play together, and they're playing great basketball at the right time of the year. And then finally, Cheryl Reeve, who, as y'all have heard me say on many occasions, we didn't think we would be talking about Minnesota at the end of the year, and you got to have the coach as a part of that equation. That result is not is not without some kind of contribution to the coach. Stephanie White, I'll say again, I'm not sure I would have had Stephanie White as my leading contender for coach of the year. But honestly, when I look at what she, what she inherited, what she was able to put together, who she thought she was going to have when she took the job, yeah, who she lost. I think she's done a good job. But who do you think? If I break them down, I look at the Dallas Wings. I look at Dallas as one of the most talented teams in the W. Literally, in my estimation, is probably in the top three when it comes to pure talent. Arike Agumbawale, Satu Sabali, Natasha Howard, who's a WBA champion, multiple WBA champion. Tierra McCowan. Biggest presence in the W. Odyssey Sims, lots of experience, veteran point guard. Great players on that team, and they're only going to get better. And they have looked a lot better than they looked last year. And they are playing, to some degree, a lot better than the teams in the recent years have played under the Dallas Wings banner. So Trammell definitely is in the conversation. I started out saying earlier, Sandy Brundello. Did a great job at Phoenix, came to New York. Everybody wondered whether she would be able to meld the personalities of Sabrina Unescu, Stewie, John Coyle Jones. I could keep, I could go on and on. They've got a great team. Would would she be able to get those players to play together for a common cause? And she has. Cheryl Reeve, again, probably a train wreck you know, starting out in the 23-23 season. Did not look good. Lost games that they could have won, possibly, but definitely did not look good. And then the pieces started to kind of get to go together. The puzzle started coming together. And that always has something to do with the coach. Here's the thing about coaching. You know, sometimes people will say that some teams are so good they could win even if they didn't have a coach. And uh, I've been on some pretty good teams. And I would say that's probably possible. But I can tell you this. After having played in the W and played on some great teams, played on USA national teams, played on college teams overseas, all of that, the coach might not make the team what it is, but it certainly can participate in breaking the team. And so when a coach has a great team and – he or she manages to also get those players, those pieces to play together. That is no short, you know, that's that's not a small thing. So all four of these coaches in my mind deserve to be in the conversation for different reasons. That's what I love about this conversation for Coach of the Year in 2023 is that for different reasons, everything I said was very different for, you know, the Sun than it was for Minnesota, than it was for the Liberty, than it was for Dallas. And yet all four of these coaches have done a really great job. So you make the case. Tell me what you think. Which of these coaches 
in what order would you put these four coaches in for coach of the year? I would go, yeah, I'm going to do mine as well. I would go, mm, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I was going to say, I would go, okay, I would go Cheryl Reeve. I didn't actually think I would say that. Not just because I like Cheryl, of course, and I think she's a great coach. But I wasn't even thinking of Minnesota, to be candid with y'all. I've been thinking about Dallas and New York for the most part all season long. So I would say Cheryl Reeve, from, because I'm looking at the distance you had to travel to get to the playoffs, Cheryl Reeve, I would go Sandy Brandello, Latricia Trammell, and then Stephanie White. What are your four? In order, in descending order. Who are your four? And obviously you know who your four is, but in what order would you put these four coaches for Coach of the Year? Talk to you soon.